Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Sprint. I hope you are following my GCPS playlist. The topic which we are going to cover today is called Google Cloud Marketplace. So what is Google Cloud Marketplace? Google Cloud Marketplace lets you quickly deploy a functional software packages that runs on Google Cloud. Even if you are not aware of any cloud service, you can simply do one touch deployment with any solution which is available on the Google Cloud Marketplace. You can also use Google Cloud free trial to experience this in real. You may find top solutions integrated already with Google Cloud and take advantage of that to accelerate your digital transformation. In this video, we are going to deploy two stuff. Number one is Jenkins, single touch deployment. Second option will be WordPress. In next few minutes, you will be able to set these two softwares with just two clicks. If you are following the content, hit like and subscribe button. Let's get started with the video today. We'll first of all go to menu, click on marketplace. Once you click on marketplace, you will get a UI like this where you can explore, launch, manage solutions in a few clicks. You can see the list of uh, offerings here. You can deploy WordPress, Databricks, Elasticsearch, Kafka. Left side, you get the category. I mean, you choose the social media operating system, healthcare. All these companies have predefined their solutions as a template. You can just deploy them on a single click on GCP. You can also filter it on the basis of price, partner. That's about the UI. Okay. This is how you can deploy data breaks in a single click, MongoDB. You can set up any operating system as well if you don't know about the details. Let's go ahead and do use cases now. Scenario one is to deploy Jenkins in shortest possible time. You can do it in various, various ways. One could be set up a VM, deploy everything on top of that VM. But the fastest route is to do it through Google Cloud Marketplace. Let's see how to do it. First of all, let's go to the Marketplace dashboard and we will search Jenkins. You can see your 22 results to install Jenkins in various forms. We will click, uh, we'll take the uh, single click deployment over virtual machine. Yeah, here you can find out the uh, options, the kind of uh, uh, packages it will give you. Okay, the amount of money which you have to spend monthly, which is 4000 rupees month, and it will give you two virtual machines and 8 GB memory E2 standard to family machine. Okay, you can simply click on launch. When you click on launch, it will start uh, checking the APIs that <clears throat> required APIs are enabled or not. In our case, a uh, lot of APIs are not enabled. So it will ask me to enable. I'll click on enable. Once I enable the API, it will create uh, compute uh, VPCs and a lot of things in the background, which will enable me to uh, deploy the solution. Okay. Once this enabled, it took us to this uh, page. And, and here I have to choose my uh, uh, you know node family name basic details like which is just filling like a form so i'll say that okay jenkins uh, dev cluster i want to create uh, zone should be uh, suppose europe west 1c the capitals are not allowed so yeah jenkins dev cluster here i'm reducing the machine type so that it becomes cheaper so yeah you can see from 4700 it become 2200 I'm good with network, not uh, doing anything. Yeah, uh, good, I'll accept the term. Click on deploy. Once you click on deploy, it will prepare a set of scripts and it will start running. Yeah, you can see it is importing all these Python modules using deployment manager, which is like infrastructure as code for GCP, like Terraform or uh, cloud formation for AWS. So using that, it is trying to deploy. Yep, it's done, you deployed it. So once you open the UI, I'll put up the password to log in, admin as username and then a password. With password, I'll click on sign in. Once you click on sign in, yep, here you go. So 
you have installed Jenkins just with a single click by choosing two drop down values. That's the power of Marketplace. You can now, the way if you, if you know how to use Jenkins, you can start using it. Like you can create a job, you can uh, start building your solutions. Okay. You can manage Jenkins. In manage Jenkins, you can set up your plugins, you can uh, configure your system logs, everything. That's the uh, great part of marketplace. Now I just want to show you one thing is that uh, in, in Jenkins you can yeah that, that's how you can create freestyle projects and start building your stuff. You see how easy it was to deploy Jenkins in GCP with marketplace. It's the fastest way. It has created a, a VM deployed everything on top of it automatically without you doing anything. Okay, that's why we say that it's the fastest way to deploy anything. Now, suppose you're done with this, uh, you know, particular uh, Jenkins deployment and you don't want it. Yeah, these are the all automation scripts which ran to configure your environment. You may also go ahead and, and you know, uh, configure changes like you can change SSL certificate at all. Yeah, you're done with it. Now you want to delete it. Yeah, that this is where it changed certificates. Now, suppose I'm done with it and I want to delete this particular instance. I'll simply go click on delete. I'll choose delete uh, VM load balancer everything. Click on delete. Once you click on and delete, it will just take one, uh, one minute to delete everything, whatever was deployed for Jenkins, right? That's how you can set up and destroy Jenkins in a minutes and with a single click. Right, that's the power of marketplace, and that's why we use it in many occasions. Let's move to the next one. Scenario two is that your team is full of WordPress developers. They make changes with their plugins, and they want they want an environment where they can test it. Either you can set up an environment individually by DevOps team, or you can give this leverage to your developers as well. Google Cloud Marketplace comes as a savior, as every, any developer can come, create their environment, test their changes, and destroy that particular deployment. Let's see how they can do it. For this, we will again go to the Marketplace dashboard, click on WordPress, click on Launch. You can review the information available here, like how can you just uh, publish it, what is the cost, what are the packages will be installed with it. You can verify this information. Yeah, these all packages will be deployed uh, once you click on uh, on a deploy button. Else you have to do it all manually or by some uh, automation script, you have to write them. But here, just clicking on launch will install everything for you. That's the best part about uh, this uh, APIs, which is uh, Marketplace API. So we will uh, select our deployment name uh, again, I'm going to reduce the node size because I am not using it for production purpose. I have to pass the administrator email address. Uh, yeah, I mean, everything is enabled, keeping it default, default. I'll accept the GCP marketplace policy and click on deploy. Once, yeah, you can just review one more, once more. These softwares will be installed on a Debian uh, environment. Click on deploy. Once you click on deploy, again, deployment manager is being used to set up uh, WordPress for you. Once this setup is completed within a few minutes, you will be, yeah, you can see it's already completed. Now you can open the UI and uh, check your uh, check your changes. This was the requirement, like developers uh, may have made some changes. The developer will uh, just with a single click, will create WordPress environment, uh, you know, open the UI, First of all, suppose if my changes are database changes, I'll open my PHP, my admin, and uh, yeah, this you will get the username, password, everything very, very easily here. You can just log in to your database. If you have suppose made some changes at database level, you can go ahead and test it, okay? You can test your scripts. Once you get the desired output, you can get rid of this environment. That's the uh, benefit of having marketplace because Otherwise, you need a team to maintain all these environments. But in here, you will you are just in a single click. You can test your changes. One, you can give this leverage to all your developers. They can come, 
change this their database changes their content changes their cms changes on their wordpress and they can once uh, test and confirm that their changes are working fine after testing they can delete the deployment right that's the fastest way to enable your development team to use any environment set up anything and uh, uh, take advantage of marketplace it also have a very large uh, uh, offering uh, in terms of the uh, retail sector sector wise offering cost wise offering tools wise offering you, you should just check that out in detail once uh, but in terms of exam i think uh, these two examples are good enough to uh, give you a flavor that uh, uh, what is marketplace and why should we use it right i hope you uh, like this video uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you are liking my gcp playlist or my respective content have a good day thanks very much thank you for your time